What is up guys? Welcome to another Unreal Engine course inside of the Game Development Academy and this time we have a really cool game that I call Slow Mo Shooter. The idea behind the game is that when you move time slows down and when you stand still time moves normally. Which means when we shoot a bullet and we move we can see it go in slow motion which is really cool and why am I talking? Let me show you that. So if I hit the play button we are gonna go inside of the main menu and we will learn how to create it. We will also learn how to navigate from main menu to our first level then to another level as well and here we have our buttons. We will learn how to do all of this. If I click the play button I'm gonna go inside of the gameplay and let me just raise the volume because we have our nice background music and you see here we have some guidelines and we have really nice stairs and all of the good stuff so I can move over here freely we need to press shift when we are moving to dash because we cannot pass this as you can see so we need to jump over here so we have jumping as well so now if I press shift I will dash and this is our bullet box that's how I call it or ammo box notice here we have the bullets at the bottom right corner at zero three so if I go over here now bam 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 we fill in the bullets now pay attention I'm just gonna lower the volume a little bit because my mic is close to the speakers and I have the shooting sound as well so notice on when I shoot and when I start moving pay attention bam look at the bullet is moving in slow motion and we hit our enemy and now he falls down now all of these bad boys are going to start shooting at me and let me just try to kill him before they kill me so kill this dude and this one I'm going to shoot and this one I'm gonna shoot as well. So let's go over here, slow-mo, bam, and level completed, your time, retry, next time, next time, <laughs> next level. If I click retry, we will reload the same level. If I click on next, I'm gonna load the new level, as you can see, and we are inside of a new level now. So now here we have new challenges, as you can see. Here we have our crazy bots, which, which are going to start to shoot us. One is dead. Another is dead, another is dead, and I am really cool at this game, and as you can see, we can also stab them. So if I step over here, three, two, one, there you go, and now this is where the real action begins. And of course, over here, I can die as well. If I get hit, if they hit me with a bullet, if somebody hits me, pay attention, bam, I'm dead. You are dead, retry. We, I can click on main menu to go back, or retry to reload the current one. So yeah, there you go. This is the game that we're going to create. We're gonna create it from scratch. We're gonna learn how to do all of these cool things. It's a really cool game. So uh, I'm very looking forward to you and me creating it together. Let's get into, I'm gonna stop talking now and I will see you in the next video. So now that we saw the cool game that we're going to create, let us jump right into it and create the game. So when you click on your Unreal Engine, you will open this project browser, click on the new project over here, and then you're going to go under Blueprint tab and click on the blank project. So over here, you can select desktop console, that is totally fine. For the maximum quality, leave it at maximum quality, but here, really important, for the starter content, make sure that you select no starter content. So you have two options, with or no. Click on no, it's really important. No starter content. And of course here you can select the for full blah, blah, blah. You can select the folder where you want to save it. And here you have the project name. You can name it whatever you want to name it. Click on create project when you finish that. I named mine Slow Mo Shooter, and here we are. This is the project, so on and so forth. You know the drill. Now what I'm gonna do over here is I'm going to right click on the content and I'm going to go here under show in explorer. This is what we want because now I'm gonna go here inside of the assets folder which are available for download. Link will be below this video. So below the video you will see a link for downloading these assets. What we're gonna do is select all of these assets and you're going to right click on them and click on copy. So make sure that you copy them. I mean you can also transfer them like this but they will be moved, they will not be copied. This is on Windows, I'm not sure on Mac but I assume it's the same thing. So just copy them and then go back over here in the content. Again, it's under our project and make sure it's in the content folder. Right click and paste and just wait for it to be pasted and that's all you have to do. So now when we have that, I'm gonna, well, click X here to exit and here, a change source, blah, 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 click on import. So simply click on import and of course you will need to, you know, wait a moment or two depending on your computer and so on and so forth and all of the good stuff. Now what do we have over here is, well, the game is already prepared. If we go here in maps, we have, for example, this 
test map, you see we have the main menu, this is going to be our main menu, this is going to be our first level over here, so that we don't create all of this from scratch, it is tedious, you see this is just moving and dragging the folders, the folders, the 3D models, the whatnot, so I've literally saved you a ton of time, you see, so just make sure that you, well, just make sure that you do what I did so that you have all of the content and so on and so forth. So now that we have all of this right here, I'm gonna go here in the content and we have the blueprints folder as you can see. I'm going to right click inside of this one and create a new folder and I'm going to name this one character underscore BP which is short for blueprints and this is where, where we are going to store our character blueprint and our bot Blueprint. So I'm going to right click over here and create a blueprint class because we're also going to prepare our character and we are going to select, well, the character over here. And I'm going to call this bad boy player character, so player underscore character who is going to be our main character and now I'm going to double click this to open it in the blueprint editor. I like, I like, I like... What is wrong with me and my talking? So I like to dock this over here, and this is what I do usually. You can do it or you cannot do it, that depends on you, but I'm going to do it, which is easier for me to work. So now what I'm gonna do inside of our character is that we are going to attach a few things. First of all, we are going to attach a well, mesh to it. So we are going to select the mesh over here and here for the mesh, which is the skeletal mesh, I'm going to click on the drop down list and we want this one, Hero FPP. So Hero FPP, this is what we want. These are his hands, you see, because this is like a FPS first person. It's not a third person where we can see the whole character. So we don't care if we can only see the hands. So there you go. Now what I'm gonna do is for the location of the hands, I'm going to say negative 10 for the X. For the Y, we are going to set that at zero. We're not going to touch it. For the Z, we are going to say negative 80 and position him a little bit below. We're not going to rotate him or do any other thing. So this is all we have to do for the character's position. Now, and did I move him? I don't think so. I thought that I did, but it's not important. Anyways, the next thing that we are going to attach is the first person camera. So I'm going to click on the green button over here, add component, and I'm going to simply filter for a camera. And here we have it. I'm going to click on the camera and it's not going to be a child of the mesh. So just make sure it's not the child of it. Click on it to rename it. And I'm going to call this one first person camera. Now, as you can assume, we are going to position the camera. So for the camera, I'm going to select it. The position X is going to be negative 19. For Y, we're not going to touch anything, but for Z over here, I'm going to say 64, not 65, 64, and not negative, positive 64. So this is going to be our position. And by the way, if you are moving, so scrolling all of this right here, so if you're scrolling, and what I'm doing to scroll is I'm holding the right mouse button and I'm moving with the WASD key just to, you know, fly around the scene and to come closer. You can scroll up and down with your mouse wheel to speed up or speed down the movement. So as you can see right here. Now, another way that you can also do that is you can click on this right here for the camera speed. You can set the speed you see here. You have the camera speed. You can set it to whatever you want to set it like this. So you get the point. This is just a nice tip from me. Thank you Fahir very much. So now we have our first person camera. We set this up. Now don't worry, this will not look like this when we add animations and all of the good stuff. So don't worry, we will cover that later on. This is just the preparation of our character. And the next thing that we are also going to add is an audio component. So I'm going to click on this, add component. Make sure that you don't have nothing selected over here because if you have something selected, it will add it as a child. So I'm going to click on add component filter here for the audio. And here we have, so this one is going to be our audio. We're going to have the knife attack sound. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to say knife attack sound like this. Now I'm going to select it, control W to duplicate it two times because we're also going to have an empty gun sound. So here I'm going to say empty gun and we're also going to have a gun attack sound. So here I'm going to say gun attack sound. Simple as that, nothing complicated, nothing, well, that we did not do. Now for the knife attack sound here, for the sound that we are going to attach, as you can see, we have the sound that we are going to attach. I'm going to click on the drop down list and I'm going to filter for knife 
And here we have knife slash. Do we have knife slash? Let me just find it over here. Slash something like this. Here it is. Knife slash. So click on that. This is going to be our knife attack sound. For the empty gun, select it. And here for the weapon, I am going to filter again. I'm going to say empty weapon. This is what I need. And lastly, for our gun attack, we are simply going to select it. Filter here for the shot like this. Voila. Compile and save. Make sure that every change you do, you click on compile and save. Let me just check over here. Yes, I have my highlight tools, which is cool. Let me just close Unreal, which is actually Epic Games on and so forth. So every time you do any changes, click on the compile and click on the save. And there you go to, well, save this. Now, this is everything we need to do to prepare our character. Of course, here in our project settings, we are going to go under maps and modes. We are going to add our character to be the main character who is going to be spawned. But for that, we need to create our game modes on and so forth. I don't want to stall anymore inside of this video. And that is all for me for this video. I will see you guys in the next one.